Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is going to be a video on metric modulation. This video in particular, we're going to talk about different techniques and different ways that we can actually go about playing these things. Contrary to the previous video where we had a discussion between the difference of regular and implied metric modulation. I'm going to leave that up to you. This is just going to be physically how to play some of these things, how they work out metrically, and so on. So, let's get to it. Okay, so this first example, we're going to relate to a 3 over 2 polyrhythm. Now, if you don't know exactly what that is, check back on some of my earlier polyrhythms videos and it'll explain it pretty in depth for you. So this example is just a typical 8th note based groove. It's probably one of the first grooves that you ever learned. Now, we're going to speed it up by playing the exact same thing, but we're going to base it in 8th note triplets instead. Let's hear it. Pay special attention depending on how you're applying this. If you're doing an implied metric modulation like I was doing in that video where I was playing my left foot in quarter notes from the previous tempo, well, I guess not really the previous tempo because we didn't actually change anything. I'm just implying a new one over top of it. You have to make sure that you're really feeling that pulse because if you fall off that pulse or if you rhythmically elude yourself and start feeling it as your implied groove, then you're gonna have trouble getting out of it in the right place and most likely you're gonna come out of it completely wrong. Okay, so this next example is an elaboration on the exact same thing. Let's hear it. We're just going to add a couple of notes and we're going to make a different groove out of it. Okay, so the last thing that I want to do with this particular type of metric modulation is we're going to take a shorter one. So in the previous two examples, we used grooves that were in 4-4 and were the entire bar. Now this time, we're going to take a 4-4 groove, but this particular groove, the first half is going to be the exact same as the second half, which means when we modulate it, it's going to work out over the course of just one bar of 4-4 instead of taking two like the previous ones did. The cool thing is that our bar of 4-4 that we're, you know, pretending this new groove into, uh, we play 50% more of it. So it's, it's quite a bit faster and it's fun. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, before we move on to a different modulation, I want you to pay special attention to the PDF notation from these previous three examples. The pulse that we're implying lines up in the exact same place from all of them. So what I want you to go do is don't just steal my grooves. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I'm giving them to you. They're free. Go for it. Um, and don't just do the grooves out of Gavin's books either. Make your own. Like, just take different grooves and experiment with how they line up within these modulations. Take grooves that you're comfortable with, the stuff that you really like to play, and make it new. Expand upon it. Really dive into what you can do rhythmically. Okay, so this next modulation is going to be based off a 3 over 4 polyrhythm. We're going to take a 16th note groove, and we're going to make it seem like we're slowing down by using 8th note triplets instead of the 16th note as our main subdivision while still playing the same pattern.
And finally, I'd like to do the opposite of what we just did. So instead of doing a three over four polyrhythm, you know, based modulation, we're gonna do a four over three one. So it's gonna seem like we're speeding up. We're gonna start with a triplet based groove and we're gonna play the same thing as 16th notes. So we'll be getting a bunch faster. It's another cool little effect. Let's check it out. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you guys that you actually need to be feeling the original pulse while you're playing these. You can't rhythmically elude yourself, otherwise you're going to get lost. And especially if you can play your left foot in quarter notes while you're going through this thing, that's going to save your band. And, you know, if you lose them, they're just going to smack you up a little bit. Not cool. We talked about that in Displacement. All right, so these are just some of the examples that we can do with these kind of things. And again, I really, really want you guys to make your own grooves out of this stuff. Don't just use my stuff. You're just going to sound like me. And I mean, that's pretty cool. But <laughs> you're going to want to use your own stuff. You're going to want to become your own player. Like, there's no point in just sounding like a clone. You want to be your own entity behind the drum set. So take these ideas and change them. Use your own grooves, your own patterns. And well, as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys inside the next video. Bye.